What's up guys? So today we got Teddy Bridgewater Final Edition 99 overall dual style short pass and speed run style. 6 foot 2, 90 speed, 90 awareness, 98 throw mid, 94 throw on the run, 89 play action, 99 throw short, 99 throw power, and 95 deep throw. Now his throwing stats are very solid. His running stats are okay with 90 spin, 91 juke, and 81 carry. So even though he, you know, he has kind of okay running stats, I would still suggest sliding with Teddy Bridgewater. But anyways, of course, the first thing that you always want to see is the uh, short throw. And we should, you know, nobody should be surprised that this was no problem whatsoever. But just so you guys can see yourself, Teddy Bridgewater had no problem throwing the ball short. When it came to throwing the deep ball, he did have one bad pass, but like six good ones. So as you can see right here, man, deep throw was no problem. 99th throw power, man. He could throw it deep. Look at this play come up right here. Right here. I'm on the 30-yard line. He throws it. Look where it lands, man. All the way like at the 5-yard line. So believe me, the boy can sling it. When it came to throwing on the run, this was very interesting. When it came to running to the right, as you can see right here, he was pretty much perfect. He did have one bad pass, but out of like 15, so no prob uh, problems for me there. And... You know, I know most guys are going to say this is how you're supposed to run with right-handed quarterbacks, which we'll get to later. But as you can see right here, man, when it comes to throwing on the right, very solid. And even though some of these receivers are like not wide open like right here, that's fine with me. As long as you give my guy a shot, that's all I care about. But of course, if they are open like right here, believe me, the boy can put it where it needs to be. So throwing on the run on the right, very good. When it came to scrambling, I just reviewed Blaine Gabbert, who also has 90 speed. And just like Gabbert, with Bridgewater, I say take what you can get and slide. I know the temptation is there with the uh, spin and juke move, but believe me, he's one of those quarterbacks where it's like, if he fumbles once in the game, he's going to fumble like five or six times. I know that's true for most quarterbacks, but for some reason, it was like turned up like six or seven times more with Bridgewater. Some games he fumbled like seven or eight times. I'm not even exaggerating that number. He was just so fumble prone after that first fumble. So like I said, take what you can get and slide. And these type of runs right here, these big time runs, you might get a few of these with good blocking, but believe me, 90 speed is not that fast. As you can see right here, so many times he will get caught from behind. Now, like I said, if he fumbles once in the game, he's going to fumble like four or five more times, assuming that you keep running with him. So, like I said, take what you can get and just slide with Teddy Bridgewater. As far as the bad passes go, he did have one bad deep one. As you can see right here, just a little overthrown. Right here, he that was just completely underthrown with another deep ball. He did have one bad mid pass. But the majority of his bad passes was, was this right here, running to the left and throwing on the run. I know so many guys are going to say, you know, it's because he's right-handed. But believe me, I've debunked that theory so many times before, so that's not even an excuse. So I say stay away from throwing on the left. But of course, where he shined the brightest was the mid-throw, which I've said before, I think the mid-throw is probably the most important trait for any quarterback. And of course, as you can see here, I'm not leading these passes. I'm just throwing straight bullets. He's putting them where it needs to be. 99 throw power is amazing and the release as you can see here very quick which makes it even more deadlier now the best way to describe Bridgewater in my opinion is a pocket passer with some speed not a speedy receiver that can throw no he, don't try to turn him into Manziel don't try to turn him into RG3 Cam Newton none of those guys you will believe me, you will fail more than you will succeed if that's how you uh, you know try to use them so of course, if you pick them up, use them however you want to, but in my opinion, I say throw first and only run if necessary. So that's going to wrap up this review, guys. My final thoughts, so I think he's worth 250000 I think that's a great, great price, but whether or not you should pick him up really depends on your scheme, man. If you're used to running around with your guys like Manziel, Cam Newton, RG3, Vic, so on and so forth, I would say pass on him for now unless you're going to turn him into a pocket passer because if you try to run with him over and over again and try to juke and spin past people, I guarantee you he's going to fumble way more than you want him to and it's going to cost you games, cost you a bunch of headaches. So for that, I would say pass on him. But of course, if you're a pocket passer type of guy, of course, try him out. You can't beat that price, man. And of course, it's just going to keep dropping. You know, when he first came out, he's going for like 400. The next day, 300. Now, 200. And then, of course, you got the weekend coming up. His price is going to keep dropping even further. So... You know what guys, if you've not tried him yet, I absolutely recommend trying him out at least once, see what he can do for you. So um, guys, that's going to wrap this up. On offense, my next review is going to be the NFL Draft Tyrod Taylor. On defense, I still have Quinn Demps coming, so be on the lookout for that. And of course guys, as always, if you have requests, leave them in the comments. I'll get to as many as I can. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe boys, and I'll see you boys for that Quinn Demps review. Peace.